football's back. I yeah. know you had that hockey match against Adelaide last week. How's everyone? Fine tuned, ready to go? Yeah, good. Uh, ready to go. Uh, and the players missed it. They um, they can't wait to start up again. You know, we, we played that friendly. Uh, it was like another little pre-season for them, it felt like, because, you know, no games and you have to come and train and that. But... Um, Excited, you know, excited because we get an opportunity to play football again. Um, also, that the, the, we've got a lot of players back from injury and and uh, so we're looking very strong again. I guess like Dumbi is the one that sort of stands out in terms of those names. How, how much involvement can he have? Is he fit to maybe start or contend in that way? Um, yeah, he is fit. Um, he didn't play against Adelaide. Um, we played an internal on Saturday and he played in that. And uh, so he's ready to go. Whether it's start or, or coming off the bench, he will definitely play a part. Um, he's looking really good, very good, um, even b better before his injury, So, which is great. Um, you know, we're, we're excited about seeing him play. Um, looking at the lists of the ins and outs, though, uh, John, Stephen's still listed as being out with an injury. Uh, what's his prognosis and recovery look like? Yeah, he'll be out for a, at least another couple of months, I think. Um, it, yeah, not not a great one in terms of his uh, hamstring injury. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that's a bit of a, a long-term one. Um, and then I'm trying to think of who else. Tomoki's out uh, due to illness, um, which is unfortunate because his injury's fine. He's, he's good and he's ready to go, but... Um, um, and they're really the only two at the moment. Uh, so looking forward to, to, you know, having a good, strong squad because, you know, the players that uh, might not start and uh, come in off the bench um, can make a real impact like they did last game against Wellington. Well, in so you're going to Perth for this one, John. You, you finally got your win on the board just before the league broke. Was it a bit annoying that you finally get that win on the board and you want to kick on, but then all of a sudden the league stops for a month? No, it was actually good timing for us because we got, you know, we still had a lot of players out and uh, and not match fit, and it gave us more time to work with Alex Prijevic, uh, time to get Dumbia back, time to work on players that hadn't been playing. Nikolai Topper Stanley, who was out for a couple of weeks, um, you know, we got another friendly game into him. Um, and so it, it was good timing. Uh, it, you know, you don't often say that during the season when you have a break that it's great timing, but for us it was good. I mean, Diamante and Prijevic, can they start, like, after getting this extra bit of workload into them? Um, definitely. Um, you know, they definitely can. They're, they're available and uh, ready to go. So now it's up to, you know, what, what we try and do and, and uh, whether they start or coming off the bench. Um, I know that they, the impact they will have, but uh, they're definitely ready to go. What have you made of Perth? I know they're going to get, um, like, Lusty Amini back in. Um, they sort of, you know, wasn't necessarily great for him before the break, but what have you made of him? What do you need to do? Yeah, it's difficult to say because they haven't played for a long time. Um, I'm not sure if they played any friendlies, um, but they had players coming back in because, again, their break probably did them a world of good. Uh, look, they didn't perform well against City uh, when they lost just before the break, but before that, in the games they played, they were very close games, you know, when they lost. They, they were only by one goal, and, they, were, they you know, they had their moments in those games. So it's a difficult game, difficult test for us. We know that Perth is never easy, no matter matter what form they're in um, so but we're looking forward to it because you know we, we had a really good performance in Wellington um, and so we're you know the travel is not going to be an excuse we, we, we're we're going to we're ready for it we understand that the travel is is what it is time difference is what it is but the the boys are ready to go. Uh, game's going to be taking place at uh, Macedonia Park John this little uh, pop-up suburban ground that the glory have done it's going to be a bit of a different environment than what I imagine you're normally used to in the A-League men. Uh, any anticipation of any problems or anything dealing with that? No, Joey, we're used to it. <laughs> You've seen where we've played. <laughs> we've played everywhere, so we're used to wherever we've got to play. Um, it, it won't make a difference for us. The players know. Uh, look, I've heard that um, you know it is a little pop-up stadium sort of thing, but it'll be 6,000 people, capacity, They'll be right on top of you. Uh, it's it's going to be a good atmosphere. Um, you know, we know the change rooms probably won't be, you know, like Amy Park, but um, you know, we've we've been in small change rooms before, and um, we, you know, the boys are just looking forward to playing again. So it doesn't matter where we had to play, if we had to play there or somewhere else, uh, there will be no excuses at all.
John, we've been asking all the coaches about this with the A-League resuming. I mean, you've spent most of the past three weeks, it feels like, at Fed Square. Um, how do you, I was only how, there once at Fed Square. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you know, we've seen the momentum, we've seen the big turnouts and Socceroos, obviously how well the Socceroos went. Um, what do you think needs to be done uh, in terms of the league? How does the league capitalise on it? We've got the Socceroos coming back into play this week as well to, to kick the A-League onto that next level and, you know, get people turning up, build yeah. on that momentum. Yeah, I think that the, it will automatically do it because, you know, uh, there's been a lot of hype. You saw the, the, the reception that these players have had when they've come back into the country. It's been incredible, which is, is great to see, you know, Craig Goodwin in Adelaide. So I expect there to be big crowds wherever we're going at the moment and, uh, and they just need to keep that going. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, knowing that these players uh, did well at the World Cup, you know, the, these uh, A-League players that are playing currently in the A-League, but then also the, a lot of the players that cut their teeth in the A-League, you know. So I've always said that our standard's very high here in the A-League, and now I think people start to believe it. You know, we, we know how difficult it is for foreigners that come in and, you know, that have played at a high level. They, 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 they can't believe how high the standard is. So I think that's the message has to keep on going out, you know, come to A-League games because the... The atmosphere, once the atmosphere is there, the, the games are good anyway. They're, you know, they're exciting to watch. There's a lot of goals. There's end-to-end. -end, you know, there's a lot going on. They, they, there's so many upsets because, you know, anyone can beat anyone. Um, the, the, the actual, uh, you know, it's it's very even league, you know, one of the most even throughout the world. So it's uh, they just need to keep on building that and, and, and making sure that everyone knows about the league. Just, just get it out there as much as possible. Uh, John, we've also asked a few coaches about this, but obviously Graham Arnold has a decision to make. It sounds like Football Australia wants him back, but whether he wants to come back, nobody knows yet. He's currently on holiday. If the Socceroos job became available, would that be something you were interested in? Look, if Graham Arnold um, decides not to stay on, um, because, oh, look, if he decides to stay on, they should give it to him because it's, uh, he's done an incredible job, a great World Cup. Um, and I've never, you know, hid away from that um, my ambition one day is to coach the Socceroos. Now, whether that's in the near future or distant future, I hope one day that I'm able to do that. It's always been a, a goal of mine. Um, but at the moment, you know, my main focus is on Western United and uh, making sure we get another win on the board.